Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, today it's all about the impressible plate. And the impressible plates are gel plates that have a pattern in them. Now with these, you can get a wide variety of looks. So we're going to be playing with the square and squares impressible, and you can get a gel print like this, but you can use that exact same plate to get a look like this. And I'm going to show you how the impressible does this. I'm going to start by putting three colors of Amsterdam paint on here. And this technique does work best with multiple colors of paint, meaning you want more than one to get the full look from it. So I'm just randomly putting little dots of this paint all over that 8x10 gel press plate. Then I'm going to use a brayer to move that paint so it covers the entire plate. I am going to try and keep the yellow separate from the blues. My goal is not to blend everything right now. It's simply to get that plate covered in paint. This plate, the 8x10 plate, it is going to act like the ink pad for the impressible that you see over there on the right. Now that impressible plate is made completely out of gel. It's got that pattern in it, that raised part that you can see when I lift this up here, but it's all made out of gel press gel, which means it's got all that wonderful squish. Now I'm going to load some more color on there. I'm going to pick it up and turn it and put it back down. I'm going to pick it up, turn it, put it back down somewhere else. What I'm doing is putting color onto that impressible and I'm moving color around on that 8x10 plate. Now there's no exact number of times to do this. Just know that the more times you do it, the more the colors get moved around. So now I've got paint on that impressible and I want to show you what one single impression of it looks like. Because the part that's raised, that's the part that's going to give you the print because this is an impressible. So I've got that print, but I've also got the one here on the 8x10 plate. The first print that I did, you could clearly see that is the pattern on the impressible. But on this print, the pattern is a little more obscured because it's buried inside all those layers. Because it's been repeated on top of itself, it has a different look than just doing it once. So what about cleaning a plate like this? Now, I'm A-OK -okay having all sorts of grungy paint build up on my plates, be it a regular gel press plate or an impressible. But let's say you don't want it to be there. How can you easily get it off? Well, that's where packing tape is really handy. And as I put this on here, notice I'm going to squish it down because this whole thing has that wonderful gel press squish. I'm pushing it down so it gets into those nooks and crannies, the grooves, so that when I pull up that packing tape, it pulls all of that off. And now you've got this really cool piece of tape that has all that wonderful color and pattern on it from the impressible. And this cleaning technique does only work when the paint is completely dry on the impressible. And these aren't the only impressible designs they've got. You can check them all out at gelpress.com. Plus, there is a playlist on YouTube with over 30 different ways to use your impressible plate. Mm -hmm.